What's up guys? This is Tactical Gamer here. I'm your host. We're going to be getting into a boatload of things today. A lot of information with some new people. We have Dan Bao and Gucci. Gucci is one oh, of the no. main people who watch me and I am so thankful to have him here today as well as our constant people who's always coming to the Roundtable podcast, Gertrude and The Contractor, who I recently plugged in my most recent video for his mag groundbreaking glitch in the soon to be dead escape from Tarkov, which we may have time to cover later and why it just might die. So let's get straight into this past week's play test with the current question. What did y'all feel about that play test? Did you like it? Um, what kind of things did you see? What did you like? What did you not like? Let's just get straight into that. And I think I want to lead with Gertrude because I could just see him like about to pounce on the mic. What's up, Gertrude? What, what you got, bro? <laughs> how, how do you know? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, just love the overall experience of it, how it played out. Uh, certain streamers were a bit whiny, but most of them that I watched at least were very like <clears throat> adamant about this is an alpha, don't expect this, this is like, they like, they didn't uh, like hype the game up, but they explained it's alpha, so that was really nice for once. Yeah. And uh, they were just nice about it, and like, certain people went in straight to PvP, I didn't want to see that, so I hopped on Pestily, and I saw him doing the quest, and I was like, this is nice, at least, seeing the quest, and how you should play the game because jumping straight into pvp you won't get gear but he did the quest so he got the gear uh first basically yeah that's um, not really what it's looking like to play the game of uh just yeah. pvp <laughs> um uh, like lcs i okay. hated yeah that's one that's one thing i hated lcs uh yeah i wanted i seen a lot of suggestions uh I want an augmentation uh, of all of them, basically. So you fly out. If there's any enemies in the area, your pilot knows that. So you don't know where he, where they are. You just know that you fly to one LC and he lands as far as possible from possible enemies. If there are enemies on the LC, basically, and yeah. he pops smoke. Um, and then you get out and you're basically invulnerable one second after you get off the cho uh, the chopper and the heli thing, like the dismount should be like max one second. It shouldn't be like, you should just jump off and into the game. Yeah. Um, it, it should be pretty fast getting into the uh, yeah. whole world. Um, yeah. One thing I wanted to ask you was before we got into the whole LZs were, did you watch landmarks videos at all for this? Playtest? I watched this stream and clips when okay. he get capped and it's like i hate playing with random people and it's all friends he's playing with because <laughs> he got team killed i think it was or something like that i was like remember when we did the podcast about uh three or four weeks ago when we did the recap of his reaction to gray zone warfare and how he was i mean I'd say mostly yeah. negative to it, but yeah. with hopes of it being good. How did you feel? Did he did he change his mind with this playtest and him actually playing uh, it, or is he mostly the so, same? Yeah, so he actually, I, I think he actually thought the game was EA. Like, uh, like the game build itself was EA, so he whined about stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it's an alpha. It's all up for, like, changing and stuff. Uh, he was a bit whiny, but I saw him have fun. Like, he had fun. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. like, oh, s tanky AI and stuff, that was a bug. Uh, people not re registering hits, that was also a bug. Uh, Mosin was off-center a bit, I think it was. A bit to the yeah. left, if I remember correctly. I seen that. Uh, that was pretty but, bad. Yeah, Is it, and it's uh, like, oh, they just I th I think they whine like, oh, he killed me as soon as I got get off my chopper, and they before that they spent like six hour uh, six hours just camping someone's beginner town and just 
by killing the guys that tried to fucking quest. It's like, dude, you died once to to a to a LC camper and you whine as a bitch and then you spend six hours camping a fucking base? Are you serious? It's <laughs> it's very much double standard with him, I think. Um Yeah. He seemed to have fun, but if they change a couple of things, like the LCs, so you don't know uh uh, where they're gonna land and stuff you just like you land 800 meters around the lc you choose uh, you chose and they should spread out the lcs a lot more i think the lc should be a lot more spread out um they shouldn't be like what is it, like 600 meters from the target i think they should be like at least a kilometer out so you have to walk in and walk out um i saw another one that if you die the closest LC to your body gets disabled, so you can't just jump in and be back at your body because at some in the middle map, like between two compounds, you have the, about the same amount of time, and then you just have to hold out for like what is it, like three minutes or something, three four uh, three to five minutes to your body to coming back, and if you don't kill the other team fast enough, you're just gonna have an unending fight. Some thought that was funny because they had to fight all the time. Yeah. But if that gets put into the game, that's gonna take a, like, that's gonna rob a lot of time from people. Um, so yeah, disabling. If you die, disabling. Oh, sorry. If you die to a player, disable the closest uh, LC, basically. Yeah, closest to his death. Yeah. Yes. Just to so you said uh, against a player, not against AI. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I I just I want to retcon that to be honest. Because then you know there's a player kill you because you don't have a kill screen. Yeah, yeah, you do, right? Killed uh, by a, and a name, killed right? By, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it says killed by op uh, opposing forces if it's AI, and then it's killed by a person if you die to a person. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it, so it actually says that. Okay, then I don't as want to retcon it. See. Yeah, then I don't want to retcon it. I just want to have, like, if you yeah, get killed by AI. Uh, you, you know, yeah, no yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah. If you die against PvP, like other players, disable it. Die, die against AI, it's fine. But that could be a rat strategy just running into AI <laughs> so you can get back to your body faster. But that's a tactic. I'm fine with that. Um, that's the two like big points. It got good, well, good reviews all around. And Elsie camping by Ra uh, uh, <laughs> oh, what's his name? A uh, stank rat? Yeah, stank rat. Yeah. It, it was annoying to see, but it needed to be done. That's just how it is. It needed to be done. Okay. Uh, I have a thing to say on the disabling spawn points, or LZs. Okay. I don't know how much you saw of it, Gertrude, but have you seen the average time to get another helicopter? Yes. The helicopters, you can't have more than, what is it, like five in the air or something? Yeah, it's, it's stupid. It's yeah, so at that point, then, <clears throat> that's already kind of a, you can't just go back, because you need to wait for, not only your, the helicopter, like, if you die just off of LZ, your helicopter still has to return to base. Yeah, I think, so, I thought that was a dumb and idea. That, so I feel like there's already a lot of time, unless you get lucky with your spawn timings, to go back instantly. Yeah. So I don't I don't know if you need to disable LZ because it already takes like it's already a like minute and a half long journey and if you're unlucky you could be waiting 5 6 minutes just to get a helicopter before you do that one and a half minute long journey. Yeah, I think like with the helicopter you should get get off map faster and you should have two helicopters per squad. Basically, so that's only yours. That only you can call. So if you, co <clears throat> so you have to think when to call the he helicopter, right? I saw a lot of streamers missing, missing mm. like because they called it across the map and then ran there. It's like, oh, I fucking missed the helicopter. I have to wait now. Like, yeah, maybe you should got closer and then call it. Like, get it getting out of the AI area. But yeah, what like one or yeah, one person slash squad should have two helicopters that. Like, it's their personal or personal ones, like... Because I think it was four helicopters at all, up at all times. So, 
if two other teams also had a fight, you had to wait like 15, 20 minutes. And I think that's a bit stupid. Um, what, what about the ability to, if you're on a chopper, and obviously this is hypothetical, if you're on a chopper and you're going to an LZ, and it's programmed in, in the AI to say, um, LZ compromised, option to go around. And the yeah. chopper, you jab, you press whatever button, and the chopper will go around or go to a different LZ. Um, yes, I thought about that as well, but then I was like, and arm the chopper, but not 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 player arm, as in AI arm it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, um, uh, on the yeah, the obvious was... is that all of the yeah. choppers are currently on set pass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, I, I I get that, but it's just um, it was something I was thinking about the other day when when the a couple of guys got dropped off and instantly died. Um, they were yeah. shot straight away, and I thought, well, <clears throat> surely if there was an option to, the AI knows that there's play, there's enemy players there that are too close. So if you arm the chopper, but you also give the player, the players on that chopper the ability to go around. But obviously, it's on a the the, the AI would operate on a, um, the AI helicopter shooting mechanism would would operate within a certain radius. Obviously, you're not going to get all the AI uh, all spawn campers, but just that ability to to actually go around. I think that that I think that should be an option. Um, that's that's why I wanted the secret system. So when the helicopter flies there, when so it lands within 800 meters of the LC, right? At 1,000 yep. meters from the LC, the helicopter does a scan and it says, oh, okay, there's enemy players in the south part of the uh, south part of the landing zone, so I'm going to land north. Yeah. But he uh, And he always pops smokes, right? Mm. So even if he pops smokes and the wall is like four meters high and like, I don't know, two meters wide, when the helicopter lands, that will create a donut ring around the he Absolutely. helicopter. And and with a rotor wash, that ring will be pushed out. It will. And when you jump off, you will have um, like one second of in uh, in uh, in vulnerability or whatever. Yeah. So and you what, uh, e so even if they know exactly where the helicopter is gonna land and how it's gonna land, they can't shoot because after one yeah, I'll, if he's AFK, he's gonna get killed. But if he's not and he starts moving immediately when he lands, he's invulnerable for one second, right? Yeah. After that, it's just mayhem. Like you don't know oh, where yeah, to shoot. Definitely. Yeah, yeah you definitely. Can, like you can like saw gun it. Yes, I'm totally down for that. I w would love to like people suppressing. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, yeah. but I don't. Uh, <laughs> I, I won't. Cause and I think the smoke should be every time as well. It shouldn't be only when there's players. The smoke should be all uh, every time you land. So there's. If you have something new when there's players there, you know there's players there. I, yeah. I, I, want, I want the experience that there could be always be players there. You don't know, like, you don't know why he lands in the north part of LC. He, it could just be a random number because he, at 1,000 meters, he rolls a die between 1 and te, uh, 20, and there's 20 LCs within that 1,000 meters. So you don't know why he's landing in the north or the south or east, west, or straight on. It's just that, um, uh, yeah, you don't get the, any notification that there's enemy players there. Yeah, I, I I want that surprise building up, basically. Yeah, and basically as well. At what point? I mean, if it's a war zone and you're dropping troops off, if it's a, you know SF troops, PMC, whatever it is, at what point is that helicopter going to touch down? No, no, no. He's just gonna hover like off. Yeah, he's gonna right hover, there. and those guys are gonna go. So, so then this brings to my other idea, which was the helicopters got the idea. The, carrying on from the look, your your basically look, your LZ is compromised. Do you want to go around? Yeah, you choose the option to go around. But then there could be another option: fast rope into the wood, fast rope into the actual jungle. Yeah, fast rope. Then. Fa yeah, that could be actually really cool, but then so, you then then they would have to create fast roping yeah, but animations I mean, and stuff. 
Yeah, but I mean, he's sorry. I'm bending over to pick a an earbud up. Um, but Mara has has actually said today that um, doing. Yeah, but, do you know? I can't remember what he actually said, but we were talking. He was talking about um, essentially doing um, LCs, right? No, no, um, no. It's 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 animation. All he, all you're looking at is animation programming. Yeah. And the fast rope, he's working with the Unreal Engine. That must be the easiest engine. I mean, I know it's difficult. I actually work with the Unreal Engine. And as far as it goes with the Unreal Engine, it's, it's, it's fairly, it is a fairly straightforward engine to work with. And these, these, these devs are implementing stuff that at a, 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 a light speed, you know, bug fixes and, and, and whatever else. These are the guys. If they're going to pull it off, it's these guys that are going to do it. Yeah. Um, my buddy who's not here had a very good suggestion and, um, hopefully he's going to come a little bit later, but, um, my thought was basically the same as you be a little bit in invulnerable for a few seconds, mm -hmm. but, um, about fast roping real quick. I think that should be a thing because realistically it is, but a paid type deal. I'm not sure how you could work it because uh, it, it to be like a paid type deal, you know, because you're like a mercenary and that helicopter could... should technically be supplied for you in the way I'm looking at it. But um, yeah, if y'all have any thoughts you, on that. You, you well, I, don't, I, I don't get what you mean because you've got Blackwater. I mean, I remember them in Iraq. The Blackwater, uh, they, they were little birds that came in and those guys were doing amazing things. I don't think fast roping is is a, is a, an, an I, a thing that should be sort of like put to the side. Um, I think I think that should be sort of like really looked at, um, especially um, if you choose to fast rope in the area. It's giving you an option where, <clears throat> if you press the button, if you press if you if you press the execute key to fast rope, you're straight into the jungle. But you're not you're not you're not tied down to an actual spot it's near the lz but you can actually choose where you fast up so you're essentially choosing the helicopter's going to go in a circle on its on its um on its path but you're choosing where to actually stop that helicopter let the ropes down and your guys to get out yeah if you uh, to implement it in a, in a paid manner you were saying uh tactical i don't understand what that means uh, like you would have, uh, what I was going to say, I was assuming he doesn't mean an actual in game, like uh, paying with real money to do this, right? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, what I was going to say funds. is you buy fast ropes. Oh, sorry, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You buy fast like, ropes, you buy the, uh, like the harness the rig. And equipment. You, like how you would buy your chess piece, you would go, oh, I want to have a rig as well, like, uh, to attach myself to uh, it. it but, okay, so. It would be but so then really, uh, sorry. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> yeah, no, this is good. It it would be something like <laughs> it would be something like that, but also on a cooldown because you you don't want to allow people to do this constantly because they would just be dropping directly where they want all the time. Keep the main focus on the regular LZs and then say like, oh man. I died in a very far spot and I want to get to my gear. That's what you would really want to reserve the fast roping portion for yeah. unless you want to take a risk. And I would probably recommend this cooldown to be like every two hours to three hours even at the I, minimum. I have I seen do. screenshots. I have seen screenshots of player characters. Okay. And it's 100% this. With fast rope rigs on them. Yeah. In, they're actually, in, they've actually got the rig on the character. In Grey Zone? In Grey Zone? Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I, yeah, that's can pretty I just crazy. Say, can I, I'm, I'm right, hang on a minute. I'm going to try and I'm going to see if I can find the picture. Can I assume you go that? Then? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, no. um, ugh, sorry, I can't speak now. I'm going to assume with if they were to implement the uh, quick roping or whatever you call it, that the um, ground zero would be 100% off limits for fast rope access. 
or would you think you would be able to use pass break in there? What's your like, thoughts? Say, say that no. again. Sorry, I didn't get that. So the ground zero in the middle yeah. of the map, would you be able to fast rope in there? Because I don't think you should be able to. But... No, no. What I'm yeah, saying is, there um, it's more of a, it's more of a. No, I, um, I get where you come from. Yeah, it's more of going there. You can't get out. The the, the helicopters not can't yeah. touch down because of, because of incoming fire or it's yeah. detected enemies. Go around. You've got the option to land somewhere else or fast rope. I mean, fast yeah. rope could be an option anyway for to to get out of an helicopter. Yeah. Especially in uh, in especially in urban settings. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, like, I think Gucci those. and Tactical were talking about two different things. Tactical wanted right. it, uh, wanted the fast rope everywhere, while Gucci wanted it for a reaction to enemy players on the LC. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 cool with it everywhere. If I'm absolutely honest with yeah. you, um, especially. No, no, he it, it was just talking about it, and it's like. Wait, he means it all the time, and you means it like I. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah. I yeah. Agree, man. <clears throat> but um, um, yeah, I don't want to spend too too much time on the LZ portion. Just basically, what we have here is infill camping issues that need to be solved, and I feel when they release the game, if they don't solve it tenfold, the best thing to do is either a disable pvp be until they do fix it or b give your person a damage mitigation while and smoke while and they smoke. get while they get off the chopper for a period of like i'd say honestly tweak it from 30 seconds to lower mm. now you'll still have those players that will like me I'll casually wait in a bush knowing which direction the player would 9 out of 10 run and then join into their forces. And then they'll probably be like, hold up, we have five people here. How do we have that? And then I'll take them out. <laughs> you know? Mm. But uh, that's a different story. So I know that's kind of not how the game's supposed to be played and they want it played in a very specific way. And I, someone said that one of the dev team people or mods or someone said that, well, you should just walk there then. Mm. You know, you, you could take the helicopter to an LZ and get possibly spawn camp, uh, infill camped, walk there and you'll be safe. That is mm. not the fix for it. I know I said this in a video like, hey, you, you know what can happen. You 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 take that upon yourself, knowing that you could get infill camped. I said that before in the past, but that's not a solvable issue. Is just to walk, not not no, a forty-two the, kilometer freaking map, you know. No, but there is a like Pestley ha g gave a great uh, advice. If you get infill camp, don't fucking fly there. Fly to another one. Like, yeah. Just okay. fly to a closer one to that. You don't have to go that to that specific one. Mm, yeah, but, that too, but, but it, it, it. Sorry to cut you off, but it's basically you have to look in this, look at it in a sense of so. Obviously, everybody loves to compare this to Tarkov. I do also. So basically, let's say you're loading into the game on Tarkov. You have the loading screen. But yet, you don't have it installed on 10 SSD. Everybody loaded in before you, and now an enemy standing right in front of you waiting for you to load in and then you get killed so you're at a black screen yeah. to getting killed not even in the game yet totally that's mm. technically but what is going on here and i've spawned in actually whenever i first started playing i didn't have it on my ssd uh tarkov on the ssd and i've spawned in dead before with a bunch of gear yeah yeah that yeah, is, yeah but that, that's basically that's the same different, shit though. No, 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 it's not, because you have a choice where to land, right? So you land the first time, you die when you spawn in. Yes, it's technically like that. But then the check, uh, the second choice you have, am I going to go back there? No, you don't go back to the same thing. You go to the LC like 600 meters away, and then you sneak up on them. I know for a if fact. They if they're spawn camping, they're spawn camping for a reason, and they want like easy PvP or gear, and they're staying there for a long time. How many LZs are there in the area? Per POI, roughly? Uh, three. How many squad factions do you have per team? Four. 
See where I'm getting at? Yes, but then the whole faction has to be centered around one fucking POI. No, 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 not at all. Just two, just two, half the faction. You could easily take out everybody. And that's roughly no, three cause, people per cause LZ drop. Yeah, but if you... Oh, yeah, we can actually use the map as well nowadays. The yeah. one that showed everything. Uh, so... Wait, no, that's not the one. You want to plug it into the chat, too, for everybody? Yeah, 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 I'll do that. So everyone can ha has it yeah, to watch. Because, like... Like, Fort Nare, for example, that's five of them. Yeah. Right? And you can't go to the beginning towns of enemy factions, so you can count those count those one out. So you have... It's it, it, it's quite a lot. That That's what I'm saying. Like, if you get camped at north of Fort Nareff, you can go all the way to, like, uh, YBL south. Or, like... Uh, yeah, yeah, like, you have... Like, mm -hmm. Delta 4. Like, yeah. You have tons of choices to do. The... The main um, way I'm looking at this is Mara stated he's creating the experience, not the frustration. And I'm mm. looking at it as what will frustrate me and Grey Zone Warfare. The top issue is server crashes. I watched Fixate crash, I think, eight times in three hours. If it's one time in three hours, that's acceptable. Eight times? Did he, uh, no. Did he cause this uh, crashes? Because I think they said one player had a bag in a bag and the last bag had stuff in it so every time he logged into the thing and from, opened his stash from and what touched I the bags uh, they crashed the server from what i seen he was carrying one weapon the primary a pistol and two other weapons one in oh, the no, bag no. which i didn't know you could do and one on the bag i believe however you yeah. would say that which I, yeah. I am so happy you could put a fucking weapon inside the backpack i was so worried about that like, uh, but um, no. Uh, what I'm meaning is, they probably had a guy on that server that crashed it unintentionally. Like he had it, something strange. Yeah, it 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 could be, but I mean, still, it doesn't matter. It, a server crash is a server crash. People, they they need to disallow putting bags in bag. Then, if it's that case, or they fix it already. Out, okay, yeah, fix the issue. It, Which they're they're yeah, doing yeah. a very good job at fixing stuff. But uh, my main concerns were what will frustrate the people, the player crash, uh, player crashes, server crashes, infill camping. Uh, I could easily see me coming into a server, getting infill camped, and then going to another LZ, which is next to the same POI that I need to go to, and getting infill camped at the next LZ. It, it's just, it's very simple for that to happen in my eyes. And the other one is fobs. So Mara alluded to this today that they strengthened the AI at the players' fobs. Uh, the footage that I seen was fucking ruthless. That was. They need to make sure there's no sniper points also to be able to get sniped in base that easily. It. That's just. I'm insane. guessing you, it was. You think you're in a safe zone, and then. The opposing faction rolls up and kills all your AI within seconds and then kills you as well. That was just yeah. insane when I yeah. seen that. Yes, they should have uh, 250s mounted at the front gate, basically, with shields. Yeah, basically. You, know, like you see the mortars around. Where's the mortar? Where was the mortar <laughs> action? Oh, that is a good suggestion, bro. Honestly. So... I think I've seen this on every, especially Mithras. Like, there's you have the fob, right? Just outside of fob, there's houses there. Uh, yeah. I think they should populate those houses outside the fob with uh, AI, like guarding AI or something, like the AI from your fob, basically. So I think it has in every, mm -hmm. like every uh, uh, fob has their own little small town outside just outside the fob, not the main town, not like Navtaven or Pandlang or Kuvengesa or whatever it's called. Yeah. Not those towns, like there's a town between the fob and the beginner towns, basically, or 
it's not a town, it's like five, six houses. I think they should place Village. AI there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should place AI there, and if something happens, you have the 50 at the fob, and then you have mortars as well. Yeah. Because it shouldn't be easy to raid a fob. Another um, issue that I wanted to touch on, which I we had talked about this a while back, Gertrude, is, and I'll stream it real quick for everybody, the... LZ locations and how spread out they are compared to some others, and especially looking at Mithra's base camp, which is base camp B at the moment. It's just, to me, honestly, I think LRI, which will have base camp C, is possibly in the best the location. Had, it was CSI up there. Yeah, it was it CSI. It was CSI for base uh -huh. camp C? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Yep. It was supposed to be base camp A CSI. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It was confusing when I saw. Okay. Well. Uh. Wow. I'm. I'm gonna have the best location then. Apparently. Because why are What I'm getting at is, if you really zoom into the airfield now, this is a shitty uh quality map, but it shows the LOZs. I remember Palang Airfield not having much of a POY area. Now, I know there's got to be a bunker possibly in this area. But if you skip along down south, which Ban Pa, I don't know if that's a bunker or not. It just, this is so open right here compared to everything else, especially uh, Base Camp C. You have, boom, not even like a click away. You have things, whereas you have like a click and a half to the it's first thing. Two clicks away. Two clicks away. Oh no! From yeah. base camp C to uh, uh yeah, just paradise. Yeah. Okay, two clicks away. Okay. The, the lines are clicks. Yeah. Well, uh, this is one of the best ones from what I, what I see so far. Is base camp I C? I think Mitros has quite nice as well. Well, yeah, they have Blue Lagoon and all, but uh, as far as, like, getting to LZs and whatnot early on, and uh, I don't know, I just, I feel this is a very good area, as well as the, didn't M Mara state today the, like, the row camp portions will be the west, far west and east of the map? Isn't that what he stated, mm -hmm. something like that? I didn't hear that. No I, idea. I, I just heard I'm not stating working. that's what I heard, I'm just, I'm... Yeah, I'm okay. The question yeah. what you think. No, I don't think he said that, but he did say they're working on it as a faction, I think he or not specifically a faction, but he mentioned players actually want to be bandits or uh rogue yeah. uh, rogue PMCs, but in the beginning it was supposed to be a punish uh punishment because you have to pay your way to get back into the faction to actually get uh what's it called to actually get the uh, access to traders and stuff. So it was supposed to be a, a, a little bit like a soft ban. It's like, oh, do you want to access to your gear again? Good luck. You have to pay your way in. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do the whole rogue thing. But um, anyone else I wants to add what um, they liked and disliked about the um, playtest and whatnot? Um, I, I just like the, um, one thing I didn't like was just all the streamers using the exact same loadout. Like, I get, you know, it's probably what was meta in the the playtest, but I wanted to see a bit more variety from some of the people. Yeah. Uh, what did it use? Yeah, because all the streamers I saw and all the clips I've seen, they were all just using the same weapon. That, that, that was it, yeah, some M4, I think it was. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I got to see some of the others that I wanted to see. There was only a couple of people that I have, I actually saw utilising the bandanas. And I know that um, there were different coloured bandanas, but then if you put the bandanas on, that's indicating what team you're on. So if you get in that, that situation where, you know, you get, you're, you're, taking, you're going through a village and you know there's enemy there, and you know you've got that thing, should I shoot or shouldn't I shoot? That guy's got a, a red bandana or a blue bandana and you don't shoot him. They weren't taking any... There was, one, there was one stream I saw where one guy had a bandana on and I thought, well, you utilise that because 
you're getting headshotted, one shotted anyway, so the bandana's not going to make much of a difference. That to me, the, the 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 hard hat wasn't making much of a difference. I would rather have gone with the bandana on to ID to, to ID who was friend and who wasn't friend. It's only simple. And also the other thing I didn't I didn't really like, and I'm not going to mention any streamers' names on here, yet, but um, streamers complaining about not hitting people when they are absolutely firing 25 rounds at that one character. Yeah. And you can see that only half of those rounds are anywhere near that character. They're literally yeah. mad dump on full auto. It's like, come on, get a grip. Single <laughs> shot, control yeah, burst. Yeah. I, I saw no, that a lot too. I they were shooting a lot agree. and missing and then they whined about it. Certain yep. people actually hit stuff and it's still bugged out, but that was yep. like a bug, right? It's yep. alpha, so. Yeah, that's Absolutely. That's why I'm using the MK18. Probably the whole fucking time until they add a lot more guns. <laughs> so I went from one channel where the guys were mag dumping and complaining about not hitting anything or hitting something and the AI walk away um, to guys that, to a different stream, to guys that were literally sneaking about one shotting and the AI were dropping straight away. Um, I mean, not every time. Obviously, that would be a lie because the AI were like, you know, taking. They were sponges, obviously, for the obvious reasons, you know, like Mara's mentioned today. But it just goes to show, you use a, you use a tactic, you go around sneaking, uh, going on sneaky peeky, one shot in, double tapping, control bursts, whatever, you get a far better experience, which is exactly how it should be played. Yeah. I did see in my a opinion, lot of... In my opinion. <laughs> yeah. I did see a lot of uh, WK warriors out there. Yeah. Oh, it yeah, worked. Exactly. It worked kinda, kinda, because the AI is quite dumb right now. So in the if we get an early access like in a month or so, and the AI is still dumb, I could see people rushing through it, because the AI is still dumb, right? But yeah. as soon as the AI get upgraded, they're gonna get so shit on, and they're gonna whine us uh, uh, so much, because right now the AI is stupid. Like they would just stand still or. They are just going to laser you. Like, you don't have much of a choice there. But I saw clean. They went in fast in in a, in a, like, a town. And instead of doing it slow and methodical to getting all the AI to do their things, they just went fast and hard and just killed everything. It was super easy. So I'm, I might actually try that as well, just going... Just trying WK, just run, run, shoot, 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 and like get away from where you shot. Because yeah, that's the one. Th that's one thing they react on sound. It sounds like or it yeah. looks like because they just swarm you if you play it too slow. Yeah, it's shoot and scoot. Yeah, get yeah, it yeah, done, exactly. get out. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, suppressors. I didn't notice if those helped. I don't know if you guys saw it. Like if the AI actually. Like, or other AI that didn't actually see you, but reacted on the sound. Did you guys see any, like, people I get surrounded I with? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. see anyone use suppressors, actually. Or silencers. I would love to know if the suppressors actually help for AI. Because they should help against AI. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Hey, there's one thing I did notice. <clears throat> I don't know whether you, not you guys noticed. One thing I picked up on straight away was um, obviously you've got the muzzle blast and it's moving bushes, which is fantastic. But did you also oh, notice the rounds going into the bushes? You've got a target uh, behind the bush. Did you know, notice that the bushes were in front were actually were actually reacting to the rounds going through? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't mean I don't mean blowing I don't mean blowing up and like the little bits coming off. I mean like the entry going through and the bush reacting, you know, going in over. You know, the leaves blowing in over as the bullet goes through, as the round goes through. I thought that was quite clever. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, I just remember something I hated a lot. People whining <laughs> about quests. They whined so much about quests. It's like, Tarkov has a wiki. Yeah, but Tarkov didn't have a wiki day one. <laughs> you have to figure in, it out first. In yeah, what way were they whining? 
because they didn't they couldn't find the they, quest clues they just they just wanted a wiki that they could look it up it's like dude Tarkov funny. didn't it's have this out. the day one you have to figure it out first like and, and by the way um impact in the discord has actually started up a wiki so oh, expect really? yeah expect that to be chalked full of information i forgot to message him today i was going to start implementing the link in the dis uh not the discord but the um the discord link and the wiki link into oh, okay. the youtube channel just to help uh, well, promote that wiki and one thing i think it does need as well <laughs> and i know it's only something really really silly but it's really it, it, a real advantage is chem lights chem lights yeah, it needs chem lights when you're in that when you're in them buildings to to you know like in the um, is okay. it the underground bunker? Yeah, yeah. So there where you're placing placing green, red, blue chem lights to where you've been because a lot of guys that I saw were running in and out, getting confused to where they actually were. Yeah, I know that, right? I, yeah. So I have a weird brain. I know exactly where I'm. Like <laughs> I ne I never lose myself when I'm playing game. My friends are horrible uh with that when we play pvp like i place a trap yeah. here here and here and here and i know yeah. where i place my traps and i will always remember it but they yeah. can't remember it for like 20 seconds and they step on my trap and say fuck you dude i was like yeah. i told you 20 seconds ago i put a trap yeah. there so i saw them running in circles i know yeah. ybl by heart by now yeah. uh yeah so i do i do you think chem lights would actually help though would they actually use them well, That's yeah, because, because you, you, you're you marking out where you've been. You're marking out your spots, but also what chem lights can be used for is you stick them in your, uh, in your molly, in your, in your vest. Yeah. And, Would you've got, and you've got a team ID that? then. Then you've, got not, then you've got team ID then, haven't you, as well? Yeah, Red, blue... Would would they actually like use it like i'm um, also the milsim players would actually use it no, oh definitely no yeah yeah but i'm talking about the casual player or the normal player would they actually use it but then that's up to them isn't it if they want to get lost <laughs> that's true if they want to get lost in the place or they have a or they have a memory like you <laughs> but if they get want to get lost in the place all you need to do is 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 green light every uh room you've been in and you know you've been in there you're not running around in circles because it's easy to do how long though what do you mean how long do they last for yeah i don't know because uh, we can't do real uh versions of them like that's two hours we can't have that that would probably yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know confusing as hell when the next team gets there and there's all this camp lights there it's like oh fuck yeah, yeah but then you know a team of green <clears throat> sorry <laughs> it would probably be a good idea to wipe it whenever like the re loot respawns start again yeah something like that yeah yeah that'll be fine or the it's players the are things. far enough from it <clears throat> yeah. That would be probably easier. Yeah, the player that that put it down on the ground is actually too far from it. Then it will despawn. Yeah, I think that'd probably be the best option. Uh, does anybody want to add anything else before we move on to the next uh subject portion? No. Uh, no. Okay. Well, uh, I guess on to the roundtable talk with Mara that happened today, and I did live stream it, so I'll include that link somewhere in this video. Um, it kind of started off slow. They actually missed their time by, I think, what, five to eight minutes, something like that. It was supposed to start at nine, which I estimated nine meant they were supposed to come up on the screen and talk at nine. But, uh, yeah. yeah, so I had some questions in there that um, was in the beginning, and all of them were pretty much answered to a T. We got an answer right off the rip about the current additions, and um, let me just pull those additions real quick. Uh, shoot, I actually don't have this right away. So uh, you have the starter edition. Elite Edition, Tactical Edition, and Standard Edition. The Standard Edition, from what I remember he said, was going to be $35 USD. 
and the supporter yes. edition was 99 USD. Mm -hmm. And included in all these editions are your locker space, uh, locker size, and secure lockbox sizes. Um, what what are the locker sizes and secure lockbox sizes? What what's the differentiation between those? Does anyone know? Uh, oh, I think, stash. I think the lock Le, box is locker like stash. the one on you. Okay, locker stash. What about the lockbox? That's the one that's on your player that you can like keep items in. So if you die, they like no save. Is that shit. Like, or slot thing everyone had in the end. Yeah, because oh. everyone oh. had a two oh. by two. Because everyone had a two by two secure box. Yeah, I I was like, dude, what is this secure lock box thing, man? So okay, that there you go. So in Tarkov, it's what's it called in Tarkov now? The secure container, I believe. Yeah, secure container. So evidently, that would be your three by three. And I one hundred percent want to see if you complete all the quests or a certain quest line. That you get a better three by three. No, like so, a, a a three uh, by four yeah. <laughs> or four yeah. by four. I That'd don't like dope. that one though. I I wish they didn't have the stash upgrade and uh, locker uh, secure yeah. lock box. I wish they just had everything had that the same, but the starting money and the starting gear that you could actually like get were different is the only difference was like supporter had access like one week on test uh, servers i yeah. wish to add that instead of locker space because i don't want the pay to win aspect yeah sure, sure. you can count the in-game money that they made tons of and the gear <laughs> as pay to win but at the same I... time you have to give them something right uh, yeah. So I'm totally I'm totally fine with the gear and the bunny. I just didn't want them to get a better lockbox. I think those should yeah. be locked behind quests. Yeah. One thing, yeah, no, I'll unless uh, we can get up to the exact same level through gameplay, it just becomes yeah. paid to win. Yeah. Yes. Great. I think well, it's gonna be okay at that rate. I just feel so like the ninety nine dollar support edition, supporter edition. I feel the Elite Edition should also have a 3x3, three three, to be honest. I, I don't know the exact prices on it, if somebody wants to pull the prices for it, tactical. Um, uh, 35, 57, 74, 99. Yep. Uh, yeah. Elite Edition should have a 3x3, three three, in, my, in my opinion. You know, I, I know why they didn't yeah, do that. The they want to push people for yes. Supporter Edition, which I, I totally agree with. I mean, look... They're they're forty four dollars less than what Tarkov was essentially the same thing technically left, in quotation if you wanna yeah if if you wanna push for what the comparisons are here. Um, you have to remember EOD on launch was one hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah, I actually do not remember that. I was there yeah, for the one forty four. I bought yeah, no, mine for one hundred and discounted. Yeah, that, I bought oh, mine for one hundred and. 150, um, I think I bought yeah, mine so you, for. You, yeah, uh, I, euros, I'm assuming, or crow. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so euros, tat euros. tactical, uh, Gertrude paid for it before it was discounted. You got it after it was discounted, tactical. That's crazy. Um, man. But yeah, no, like, that's the thing is you need to make sure that it is worth it, not just because you want to get the best stuff, but also to show you don't Support. need to make it. Yeah, it, it's a supporter edition. It shouldn't have things Pay that are stuff. extremely valuable. Yeah. It should give you stuff that's, oh man, I'm so happy at the start of the wipe, I don't have to go out with a Glock for my first run. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of I just, deal. I think supporter edition should be more expensive. Why? I, I want to give them more money, just buy multiple keys. Just buy the game I, twice. Yeah, and then give me the key. It's seven. It's uh, what is it in pounds? So it, 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 so probably about eighty pounds. About eighty pounds. I I think I think supporter edition should be one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Uh, I think I think okay. they're selling them. I think they're selling themselves short. I really do. That's Firstly, a whole take. all I'm gonna say is I hate it when people are like, I want to give more money to a company because. I want to do that. I think they should charge more money because 
fuck anyone else that wants this edition. <laughs> I have the money. You don't. I'm 56 years old. I've retired. <laughs> um, if you want to do that, if you want to do that, you can buy me the game as well. You know, like, that's the thing. Is like, you, there's nothing stopping you from buying more games. But there, like, there are people who have a budget each month that might want to put down a lot of money to support a game, not just to get the benefits. If you just keep increasing the price, sure, it's only by an extra twenty five dollars. But what can twenty five dollars get you? That's that's for me. Yeah, all right, yeah, like point, point, point taken. Yeah, yeah, point that, taken. That's a week of food for me as well. Yeah, I'll accept that bollocking. Yeah. <laughs> um, on just the side. Plus, also, you're increasing the paywall for benefits on the game. You know, like it, uh, that's not a thing I like. See, see, <clears throat> I would rather not have anything extra, as in. Tactical gear. If you're paying for supporter, oh. I I would I would pay, I would pay for a supporter if they were going to um, release um, quicker, um, like a um, so it's not play to uh, pay to play, pay, sorry, play to win, but per se, you're not getting any more camouflage than anybody else. You're not getting anything special, no more loot boxes or anything like that, or nothing different to what the the box standard one is. But I think the supporter edition. Should um, have um, the ability to um, to be able to to help the devs um, work through the game. So you're getting a yeah. you're getting like um, do you remember like Ready or Not, where it had like um, you paid extra to get the um, uh, the supporter edition. So any future builds that the devs had, supporter edition would get first to test oh, through. Access to beta builds, yeah. right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think that should be a thing. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily yeah. think that I, I. I would forego all my kit, all my t-shirts, all the fluffy stuff. That really doesn't bother me. I want to help the devs. I genuinely yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, Which, I. I think that should should have been done with a supporter edition as well. I, I, I do as well. I do. I think the elite one should be the highest uh, yeah. of like pay to win yeah. stuff or yeah. whatever, and then the supporter is more expensive, but you get like in game. T-shirt, in-game gloves. You get oh, one look. week or two week of uh, early access to the test to the test servers. If they have test servers, there's a, there's a clue in that. the title: supporter edition. You're yeah, a supporter. Yeah, right. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, I was a little bit disappointed about that because I thought, well, yes, we're going to get it. We're going to get a, a bit of not early access or anything like that. Sorry, not sort of um, extra access. We're getting more access with regards to testing stuff. Um, a lot of people were against that. A lot of people said, oh, we shouldn't be playing to test a game. Well, yeah, okay, I get that, but you, you, you're really helping the devs yeah, by going through people... and spotting, spotting bugs and stuff. I would thrive on that. Yeah, and some people will actually make content out of that. Like, content creators will, yeah, absolutely. will have to buy it, I guess, to get one week extra access. I guess that would be a bad point, or... But content creators usually have more. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They would just be given access anyway. But yeah, I I think um, uh, that was the only thing I was disappointed about when it said supporter. I thought, yes, we're getting there, and he didn't mention anything. I was like, all right, okay, we're missing something here. Just for a confirmation for everybody listening right now, supporter edition is currently the highest, and it includes all the other editions items that you receive so standard yeah, tactical its own. and elite wait it's its own yeah no, it, it has its own yeah no 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 i mean it has all the earlier ones as well but it has its own as well yes, yes. that's that's what i'm saying it, it includes yeah, yeah. it yeah it includes all the yeah, other yeah. editions and it has its own yeah yeah, yeah. and we do not have a confirmation for any early access to test servers for this, but it does say at the bottom, immerse yourself in the ultimate gray zone warfare experience with exclusive extras, including unique cosmetic apparel, a, com- a special supporter designation, which uh, I'm guessing th- that's the badge, th- uh, badge they were talking about, additional supported equipment. So... That's just the extra equipment, obviously. The largest locker, so there's no other upgradable locker sizes currently, and lockbox size. So that confirms there's no bigger lockbox size. Lock behind a quest, uh, quest, quest at this time, uh, from the wording. 
the equipment will be added to your character after every game reset. The specific types of equipment may change in future resets. So regarding just the equipment portion, this may change in future resets. It doesn't say that they may add the testing thing. I'm sure I'm looking at this a little bit too closely, but obviously we may actually have the testing portion here. It could have been forgotten about. Um, I'll probably ask one of the mods after we get the confirmation Monday. Um, if there's going to be a test server, usually some games also do free test servers. So yes, like for, I know for Han showed on is one of those. Yeah, that's, that's a free. You know, Reforger has a test server as well. Reforger too. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think Squad uh, by the way, as guys, well. I, but yeah, I linked the picture in the chat. Uh, a kind soul sent it to me. Uh, Sizzle, I think it. S I Z H L. Yeah, that dude. He sent that to me. It's a, it's a very nice picture. That dude. It's, uh... <laughs> um, wait, can I just ask what chat? Uh, voice, voice chat. chat. So yeah. yeah, it's our voice chat portion. Uh, I'll go ahead and go oh. over this. Uh, currently, twenty percent of the game is done. This is the Q and A, by the way, for the um, uh, the roundtable talk today on the 26th uh ai of game is placeholder at the moment ai yeah yes. so how dumb the ai is because they haven't oh, made they their own uh, the mechanics and all that okay and yeah mechanics. console will come they've reconfirmed that because they already confir confirmed that before roadmap is coming so i speculate we get the game, right? We, we not get the game, but uh, we get the early access date finalized on Monday. I believe the roadmap is going to come that day too. I'm not sure exactly how they plan to do this. If it's going to be, I, I doubt it's another too. stream. It's just going to be an update probably around the same time. Um, um, there's, um, there's a, sorry to interrupt. There's a um, Mad Finger Games. have done something on YouTube um, where it's, um, notify me of when the uh, the announcement is so they are actually going to do something live i think or they're actually going to do something pre-recorded regarding the release the, the yeah, release yeah, yes that's on monday right that's the yep. date on monday yeah, yeah that's it's on youtube monday. yeah 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 i'm just saying it's on it's on youtube so they're obviously going to send send something out or that could be the trailer couldn't it for it because you mentioned a trailer oh uh, yes you are correct they did mention a trailer uh, can I, I'm wondering uh, if I'm going to get that information early. No, I just side note, super quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a bit random. But um, in the cover art for the future video, um, I'm sorry, I don't know what your name is. Uh, the guy has tattoos, so uh, I don't think so maybe adding tattoos to the game. I just want to point that out. Some tattoos. Yeah, I agree. I think so. I think tattoos. so as well. Tattoos. 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 I I wasn't. He's got sleeves. Yeah, I wasn't sure exactly what. I thought it was tattoos, but I was like, titles? Tat tattoos, but, um, titles? Yeah, yeah I, that, that was uh, something I wanted to touch on. Uh, on uh, About the roadmap that we have had sort of teased to us. I hope they do it in a similar way to Enshrouded, where it gives us everything that they want to do, and what they are currently working on, and ETAs, you know, like... Okay, here, here is early access. We have got a set date. It is not May 5th. Uh, it is not May 5th, everyone. But like, <laughs> it says not May 5th. Um, I'm not going to say any dates because we don't know them yet. But then after that, it underneath that it says what will be in the early access on launch of early access. So it will say 50 missions. Yeah. Working on and the eight guns and uh, the attachments. Then it says aim for uh, two months at post release of EA. Grey Zone first, uh, the, the Ground Zero first uh, region. I hope they do stuff like that. Uh, I, I would post the Enshrouded one, but I don't have it on hand. Mm. But pretty much they had a big list of what they were working on and deliverable dates. Yeah. Just um, um 
just to go back to what sorry, uh, just to go back to what I was saying about the Mad Finger Games YouTube thingy. Um, it's what it says is um, there's a notification for it, okay, and it's for two o'clock on the 29th of April, and it says Grey Zone Warfare early access, early access release date announcement, which is fine, but then in the actual screen itself it says release date trailer, so there is going to be a trailer. And this was under where? It's under Mad it's Finger Games channel. YouTube no, YouTube channel. Link. Huh. Okay. Um, I'll put the link in the uh, video. Yeah, thanks, mate. Cheers. Cheers bud. I think I'm going to go now after I send this link because I'm tired, man. All right, mate. I won't be long after, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, here's the link. You can see the guy with the tattoos. Um, your message could not be delivered. This is used. Oh, yeah. He has got tattoos. He's covered in them, isn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll send the link. Don't worry. Um, I, I can just DM it to Tactical with the um, It's there. <laughs> the random thing I made him paint. MS Paint <laughs> earlier. Perfect. Hello. Yep, so it'll be at 2 p.m. GMT, so that's... Two, yep. Uh, it is 6 o'clock for you now, Tactical? Uh, yeah, roughly. Right, so uh, that means that it would... Well, uh, you can just click on it and see what time it is for you. Uh, guys, I'm so going to... be a fairly early release date. <laughs> For this uh, announcement, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's going to be fun on the fun in uh, Discord, isn't it? <laughs> it's in the, in the middle of a school day for me. Like, come on. Okay. Notified. Uh, premieres in guys, two I'm gonna, days. I'm going to drop out. Go to bed. But since it is a premiere, yeah, that means that it's it is yeah, a so video Later, already man. already to be done. It will not be a live stream. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not a live stream. So it's just like a. A pre-recorded thing, isn't it? That they're gonna, yes. that they're gonna release. Yeah. yeah. So they technically have it already. Um, I do like the first comment though. Hype. Hope they will have a two hundred fifty dollar version. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The so, since you've mentioned it now, should we segue on to Tarkov and how they've shot themselves not only in the feet, but in the dick too? <laughs> That'd be dope, bro. I think um, that'd be pretty gamer. Yeah, oh, yeah, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it, let me... Yeah, that is pretty gamer. <laughs> yeah! Yep. Pretty that gamer. That works. That's pretty gamer. Um, but, you know, uh, have you kept up at all, Tactical, on the Tarkov situation? Yeah, let's, let's touch base on that real quick, since that's going to be our ending, pretty much. Um, right, okay. Um, just, to, just to say that I don't know anything about Tarkov, I don't, I don't play, I don't, absolutely, I can't really provide you guys any more input, so I'm going to knock it on the head as well, and I'm going to say goodnight. Is that okay? Is yeah, everyone no, all right? That's, that? that's completely oh, yeah. fine, Yeah, brother. that's a... Yeah, absolutely. Marvelous. It's been a pleasure, guys. Yeah, yeah for sure. Same. All right, all right. And hopefully Thanks see you again. For I'm sure, sure man. Thanks, no, bye. <laughs> yeah. um, I actually forgot that we didn't go through the whole Q&A, and I want to give it its... um rightful place uh roadmaps coming every six month is, months is a big update patches very quickly Whoops. but six months is big update yeah, first wipes up, on the big updates what's that yeah on wipes yes on wipes first update is day night cycle and ai changes that is gonna be humongous i can't yep. wait for that we'll go to sleep at night what I, I'm, I'm not sure why he put uh, that in there. The but, uh, AI. <laughs> the AI. The AI. Oh, AI will go to sleep at night. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. And be, uh, and be less active. Because there's going to be AI cycles. Yeah, okay. Every six months, update is a wipe. Yep. Release date is one to two months for early yeah. access. Mm. So... I'm not sure why I didn't catch him in there, say, one to two months. I heard something different. Now, this is just what I heard. This is not what's known. You got to go back and watch the video that I'm going to plug if uh, you want to know exactly what was said, because I'm not doing it live on stream right now. This is just off of the Q&A of what uh, our buddy did here, which whose name we cannot pronounce, but he will be plugged at the top right hand of the uh, screen. Um uh, yeah. Sent the picture. 
I heard possibly 30 days or less. I think Marek stated within the month. And we only have three days left in this month, I believe. So I'm guessing it's within 30 days, as in a whole month period, in quotations. That's I'm just speculation on that portion. We, we will have or Monday. It will be an exact date Monday. Um, I'm contemplating sh streaming the stream, honestly, once the video comes out with everybody here. And uh, whoever else wants to join, obviously. Um, and we could do a live reaction portion to it. I think that would be fucking awesome. So that would be early Monday. Um, there's quite a few things next week I have, so I'll probably have to reroute a few things in my schedule for this. But this is a big thing here. We, we will get early access date confirmation, okay? Uh, more guns will come. A lot of them. Uh, I, <laughs> I like, remember I like him it. stating 80. 80 is planned at the moment. That's off of my room. 80 or 18? Oh, no, way oh. more than 18. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just making sure because Tetkal is notoriously bad with numbers. Well, you, you're uh, fucking with I me because of his damn uh, his accent right now because I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Did he say 18? I don't think he I said think 18. He's... I'm pretty sure he said 80. Yeah, I think he said something. Uh, what was it? Uh, I, I think it's like 50, between 50 and 100, and then it said 80. <laughs> yeah, because I was about to say, I, I could name about 20 pistols offhand right now. Uh, Spongy AIs is, is fixed now. So we need to hold him to that. As soon as we get the game, if you feel it's a Spongy AI, you let me know, okay? Well, we, we need to let them know, uh, they're still Spongy. No, it, I'm Easy. pretty sure it's fixed. Easy AI fixed harder now, so yeah. The W, uh, the double uh, W key warriors is gonna be annoying. This was much more pushed into. I think this is where he went into the talking about fob and how easy the fob was taking over, uh, able to be ah, taken over. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Leg meta is not happening. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah. No leg meta. Fuck yes. I understand. I understand it because it's it's a hard place to protect, right? Yeah. And it has major or uh, major arteries. I'm glad it's not happening because that would be just be too annoying. People, oh, have an armor. I'm just gonna shoot you in the legs. <laughs> AI will have vaulting and a like. I'm thinking that means like a like like a player. They will do things yeah. like a player. I'm not sure why he put a like in there, and I can't remember exactly what he was talking around uh, about around that portion because I was in and out doing things. Uh, implementing faction radio squad talk to squads. This is where I went into uh, where he went into my question portions right here. Um, sorry, I had to burp. Uh, Basically, it was a chat about, I had asked the question of, will they do something similar to the squad talking where you can do, uh, the squad VoIP system where you can talk to other squads in squad chat? Because I remember asking you, Gertrude, if you've seen that people were individual squad leaders in a squad, and you had said yes. Because I never noticed that, if they were or not, and I didn't bother to go back and look at the videos. And I thought that would be the best system for it because you can potentially get into a game and coordinate an assault on an objective, a uh, mission objective, which everybody will be on the same mission objective at the beginning. Or maybe you're five months into the wipe and you still want to play the fucking game and help out new people and be like a quotations Sherpa, like what Tarkov has. And you can lead them around, but you want to be in another squad with other Sherpas. You know, and in an elite team, if you will, which is something I actually will be planning to do. It would be for a nice series. So any of you watching right now, if you're part of the YouTube, uh, following my Discord channel, if you're in there, I may just be able to help you out because I'll have an elite team running 
for CSI. Uh, uh, th that might be because you can't squat up while in the game. That's the thing. I think I I didn't see them do that. Like they squatted I, up in the game. I only saw them do it in the main menu. I was told personally that you can. So just taking okay, it good, from good, what good, that person good. stated, uh, you can join instances of other people if they invite you. I'm guessing like Helldivers, uh, you could just join randomly off of a friend since it's on Steam. It's no, 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 sorry, is. sorry, sorry. I don't mean that. I mean, if you meet random people that needs help in the, in the, what's called, in the, in the map itself, you c yeah. I didn't see people inviting random people in the map to join their squad. That's what I meant. So that, that'll be for another video then. Uh, that sounds yeah. like a like a suggestion video, one of the Inside Gray Zone series uh, videos, which I need to catch up on. I think that would be a very good implementation, honestly. That's something that really needs to be there, period. Um, moving along, so where was I? Uh, adding real-time quests that pop up randomly. Uh, holy shit, that's actually going to be in there. Uh, that's something... I love that's that's something we alluded to way back when on the fucking podcast, and then somebody had commented, "Oh, they they didn't state this was gonna be in there." Well, uh, kind of has think the to be. The suggestion box was. Yeah, what do you think the suggestion box was, guys. So and they so, were gonna take at least some of our suggestions. That's why y'all need to get into the suggestions channel, people, and put your fucking suggestions or on my YouTube video right now while you're watching this. Comment below, what do you want to see in Grey Zone? I read those, and I take those, and we talk about it in further podcasts, if they are good. Yeah. He also said uh, there's going to be, like, the only PvP quest that's ever going to be made. It's when another faction attacks your uh, base of operations or fob and your faction will get a real-time quest to like defend your fob for example that's the only time you will have a quest that means to kill other players to defend your fob well think uh, about it they they kind of have to implement something like that because territory control I, yeah. I can't remember if it's confirmed or not, but they keep speaking about it, or yeah. someone keeps I speaking about it, you know? He said it, uh, he said it down the line. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to have to go back and watch the video again, but uh, territory control, guys, that's going to be freaking huge, you know? It, just imagine the things that's with this game right now. Basically, it's a first-person shooter that's a tactical first-person shooter. It's also a, in quotations, Milsim. extraction looter shooter. Yes, Milsom. Focus on realism. It's a persistent open world. And now with territory control, technically you could say RTS. In my eyes, you okay. could technically say RTS. So when he said uh, real-time quest and like the quest for faction control, yeah. he only specifically said the FOB. But I think he said later in the podcast that they might add... Oh, out in the world uh, randomly? Yeah, like POIs, oh, okay. specific POIs. Like, uh, I think he did... Um, uh, what's the name now? Uh, fort. There's like four control points around Fort that if you capture them, it helps your faction. And I was very baffled when he said that because that's something that int introduces PvP. And I think he said... that. Said it many times that he doesn't want to add that, but I'm happy he did. Uh, but that was like towards the end. Uh, but yeah, that's okay. Awesome. Moving on, uh, they have changed the value of items already, and they're adding much more items. You cannot change factions currently during wipe, which means to me. They're working on a fix, but they have not figured out what they want to do exactly yet. Which means, I feel... I'm a sad. For the first six months, during this first pre-wipe, you need to figure out exactly where you want to be. I feel there's going to be the test server going on in the background, and they're going to be testing being able to change factions and whatnot and how that go, uh, goes and trying to figure out a fix for that because 
currently right now i uh, feel nobody's gonna have an issue it's gonna be the next wipe where people have beat those 150 missions and are wanting to play well, with friends more and change factions and stuff more frequently you don't really need to change faction because it will rotate like your faction will rotate on the but map I, at itself as well i'm talking about playing with friends still which there's oh, oh okay there's multiple different fixes for it like i've alluded I, to why not just add a team up system with other factions they want to promote working together marek has stated this numerous of times just add a team up option your friend joins the same server and you say hey look you want to work together y'all meet up and y'all work together or there's an online menu system uh where you can select somebody that's in the game and say hey let's work together and then y'all are working together and then that acts as your own friend like ah how would you say it like an alliance of sorts and if that alliance goes against you you can in turn say we were in a lot an alliance and he needs to be reprimanded for that basically as if it was your own teammate yeah. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. That's the easiest I, fix in my mind. You know, I, like a like an enemy of my enemy is my friend sort of situation. You're both going in for a similar mission. You're yeah. both two solo players. You, you both know you don't have enough ammo to take out all the AI if you, kill, if you try and kill this guy, even if you loot him. So if you don't want to get into a big fight, you go, you VoIP. Hey, do you want to just team up for a second? And you can have like a temporary truce. That'd be a very good yeah. system, I think. Yeah. Yes. But like no. built in, not just a not just an yeah. honor system. And no. because that won't work. They uh, need to make I, sure but... they don't do this. Sorry, just real quick. They need to make sure they don't they don't do it like DMZ, where you could team up and then just leave right after yeah. without any yeah. notification. Yeah. There needs to be a notification and an agreement of someone to leave. Or a five minute or three minute something like that uh, notification, like, "Hey, a member or a alliance member is looking to leave," and then mark them on the map as a leaving member. Because technically, you could see your friends. You need to be able to see your alliance member also, and your friendlies, your actual teammates on the same faction should be able to see their your alliance member also. Possibly as a green uh, notification. I'm not really thinking into this right now. It's just off the fly. But uh, what were you saying, Gertrude? Sorry, it just came to mind and uh, I had to say about it. About the ch uh, chain faction during wipe. I think you should be able to get two uh, faction changes, basically. So when you do a faction change, you del like you restart your whole fucking thing. That's what I think they should add. Yeah. During the first... Well, it's going to be a wipe, so you will be restarting your whole yeah, thing. Yeah. No, 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 not no. What account, I mean, not missions, right? No, you, no, no, no. Missions. Uh, if you want to change factions in mid-game, it's like I don't want to play CSI. I want to play LRI instead. They change. They start over from the beginning, like because I think when they start to make friends, they want to play play together, like you said. Instead of having the enemy or my enemy kind of thing, they should be able to have at least two chances. Or or two two uh, faction changes basically, so they can just change uh, two times maximum during the first until they fixed how they want to do it. Basically, there should be cause if someone misclicks, like oh we said CSI right, like no 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 we said Mithras, didn't you see the last message? Like there's gonna be a situation like that, and they're gonna be so pissed they can't change factions after that if some friend misclicks or something like that. Yeah, no, I get what you mean now. Um, I'm going to move on. Weapon yeah. modification screen is missing, but it's coming. I really, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I hope there's a weapon modification system and gear preset system like Escape from Tarkov. I'm not going to lie. That yes. is The one dope. thing I was missing when I was watching streams or watching people play um, was I saw previously the gif of the optics moving around the optics are not in a position where i like them yeah i need yeah, to no. push them forward i need to push them back depending on which one it was it's like I, I like they've shown it it's possible i need it in the game 
I think it was Tacti Gamer that uh, alluded to the... It might not be. It could be Big Fry, because I watched a few videos, just not enough to really comment on it too much. The weapons sights are a little bit too small for the screen. And noticing whenever he, seen, he, he had said that, I was a little bit in agreement with it. But again, I'm watching it on a small screen because I watched it on my phone while I was on the honeymoon. And it, it's really hard to tell if you're not actually playing the game, in my opinion, you know, to yeah. get the feel for it. But um, y'all would like to add anything to that or? No, I just hope they do the moving around the sites instead of having pre-located site places. They just give us the whole rail. Yeah, like um, actually, I can't remember, even remember the game anymore. I think yeah, I think it is Ground Branch. Uh, I played recently where I, I was using a site that um, if you used it with uh MVGs, obviously it was a magnified site. Yeah. Uh, you'd have to change the position. You it or even if it was it was just a big one times or a, Sorry, I I've gotten my words mixed up here. Obviously, variable magnification sites don't work with NVGs. However, magnified sites do, but obviously they're bigger, and if you tried to use NVGs with it, you couldn't. So you'd have to move the site forward. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I, yeah, because I, I like my hollows or certain, like, certain sites mm. at certain places on the gun. That's just yeah. like how I like it. Like yeah, I so know exactly. I want to on my sniper scopes, for example. Uh, I want to be able to see left and right a little bit on the scope. I don't want to have it too close to the face or too far from the face. I want it just in the middle, so I can see a bit, a bit to the right and bit to the left of the scope, so I have some uh, vision if someone sneaks up around the corner or whatever. Um. um. Yeah. Moving on, so this I didn't realize he stated. I know they they talked about a hooch in the past, but we didn't know exactly what they meant by hooch. I we were, we always assumed that it was a hideout like thing, but a hooch I was thinking like a tent. Um, but Marek actually stated at least this is what's written down here by uh, our boy who made this. In the plan, a hideout sort of thing like Tarkov in your base is coming. So, not sure exactly what th this is going to do. If there's going to be upgrades, I'm sure there is going to be upgrades or st uh, something like that. But think about it. There's going to be 16 other players. How and where would they put this? And how will you be assigned oh, yeah. to it? Okay. Okay, so this is where I come in. I'm. <laughs> come uh, on, baby. I'm on, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> they would do just barracks, like uh, like the military does, like you know, like um, um, yeah, like pl the the plastic uh, th sheet with the skeletons, basically. And then they put in. I'm gonna link the picture because I've already commented on one of those. They put in one of those gearbox. Um, um, gear cages like you see in S uh, special forces movies or tv shows like tv so uh, tv show navy seal has it for example it's basically a gear cage where you have your personal stuff inside of it so when you want to access your stash you go to your barracks and you go to your stash instead of having access to the stash wherever you want in base so you go into your gear cage pick out your weapon your stuff and then go out yeah that would be that kind of what we need something like that yeah also would need to be Eight able to players in each tent also would need to be able to have a place where you could check your apparel and basically you would a mirror. walk up to it and yeah basically like a mirror and hit a button and it would just boom pop up your per pop up your person and you can do presets and whatnot from there and be able to add stuff to your character because currently you can't see anything on your character. I don't even know how you change apparel in the game. So we'll see. But yeah. uh, 
Weather is coming. Rain, storms, and ETC. We know what ETC means. And that's the... Uh... Wow, I can't think of a word right now. Um, do you all know the word? How's that? Flooding? Like the floods? Yeah, the Say floods. Uh, monsoons. Shit. My, my oh, brain was like, season, where, baby. where are we? My, bra my brain's like, hello? <laughs> is there anybody there? But uh, also, guard loot is changing. This meant, uh, oh, wait. There will not be special enemies, but there will be guards, bosses, raiders, soldiers, snipers. Okay. Uh, that was not, I thought that was within the no. same thing. So no. I remember specifically when he said guard loot, guard loot is changing. Basically, they're going to have better loot, but you cannot exploit your own guards by yeah. killing them and grabbing their loot. It will be unavailable for you. But now, uh, it, if a player if comes else. and loots them, and then you kill that player, you should be able to get that gear. So yeah, but maybe... what if a sniper kills an AI then? What? What? Ha what if a sniper kills well, the AI in your base, and you loot? You can you loot the AI or no? No, you won't be. Period. You won't be able to loot your uh, own faction bases. But yeah, okay. If if another enemy, uh. I can't say enemy, opposing faction. Well, I, at the time, it would be an enemy faction. Um, opposing faction kills one of your guys, guards, and you let them in, hiding, and then you <laughs> let them take the gear, and they stand up. You know, you rat them, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's my uh, impression of Stankrat. But uh, then you kill them, you should better loot them. So that's going to play a very specific and odd role for people uh people might yeah. just let their own faction uh get ai get killed at... off yeah i would totally do it just to get some easy gear i'm already at my faction base let them come you know what i mean uh that i'm not sure how kind of gear, uh, uh, i'm wondering how the gear loot will like the guard loot if they will get like overpowered uh like better armor better helmet like a lot better than we can actually get like they have loot that's not obtainable for us unless we kill other pmcs i would like that more because that will go, go and make pms uh, uh, pmc faction rating a lot more fun because that's the only place you can get the loot from like special uh uh, uh uh, chest, uh, chest rigs or special helmets or special weapons or maybe grenade launchers and stuff that would be cool yeah um i'm not sure how this would work um say the faction the enemy faction gets into your base and kills everyone how will you respawn at that time Will you just be you able just... to keep respawning and dying to them? I uh, that that, that that's the system that I'm concerned about. Also, is every spawn at the same place? They could just do like if enemy players are inside of the your FOB, you have a random spawn point around like anywhere in the FOB um... to make it. A little bit better and easier to like actually fight them because you you spawn in naked right so <laughs> yeah um i am almost thinking that maybe there needs to be an area that can't a be accessed or spawn building perhaps like a bunker style type area below that can't be accessed and you can spawn oh. down there and then exit when you feel it's safe where you can spawn down there, gear up, and exit again. If you no, no, know no. what I mean. I know a great one. In the barracks where you loot this, you spawn in your cage. Yeah. And that barrack can't be accessed, uh, ac uh, accessed by enemy players or enemy factions. And Only you, the same faction. And you also can't be killed from outside onto there. It's a safe area. Yeah. Yeah, basically. You spawn in your cage, you gear up, and then you go out. Sure, you're going to have to have more than one door. You will have to have four doors on the barracks. 
but you, then you have like two barracks that's like at least eight people covering one fucking uh, what's it called <laughs> uh uh one door each that's going to be a little bit harder another, i guess but yeah another idea is for when will the ai respawn so my thinking is you raid the base right when the ai comes back to respawn the AI needs to be more deadly to be able to push those players back. You get what I'm saying? But the AI can't just poof out in the open. They need to start at disclosed locations. Like, like the bunker thing that I'm talking about, there could be yeah. four exits for that bunker deal. And you could even go down there and it's like just a storage area. But at the time of a raid being implemented, the AI spawns down there and then takes off up top. And they're more deadly. Uh, this could be just be a simple idea from damage mod multipliers. So say you enter the base, you're the enemy entering the base and doing the raid. You get in, you have a disclosed timer, which you do not know what the timer is until you start getting shot at by the new AI that spawned. Um, I'd estimate probably somewhere where is around 30 minutes once you enter the actual base itself, not counting into effect the sniping from afar, or maybe it should be counted into sniping from afar. I but, uh, think it should be like if one guard dies, the timer for that guard is 30 minutes, and when the ne next uh, next guard dies, it's 30 minutes for him as well. I think it should be staggered like like every AI has its own timer on him. Yeah. And they won't, and they, if they spawn in the bunker, they won't go out until there are four of them or something. So they don't go out one at a time and just got sniped. They will actually wait to regroup and then pu try to push. Yeah. Uh, what's the it, next one? Oh. It would be something like that. Um, yeah. water, water will be, be increased on the map and will affect your health system. I love this so much. I'm, you can dr you you can drink from like lakes and stuff. I'm so fucking happy. Okay, perfect. GPS yeah. rangefinders is planned in future. The ATAC system. Yeah. I hope I hope I hope that's the ATAC system. One can only yeah. hope. It sounds like yeah, that's no, what like, it is. The th uh, thing that I I was kind of missing out on is that, that there wasn't an ATAC system, at least not a phys like. Honestly, I, I came back to Ready or Not after so long, and I was like, oh shit, they actually implemented this. I thought they were just gonna, they were just gonna, oh, like, leave it off. But no, yeah. like, it's really in-depth, and since now, sure, it's, a, it's not, you know... Bump it's my, uh, suggestion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> since, it's, since it's not the, um, most, uh... It's not an exact parallel to GZW. However, it is a game that has shown that it's possible to implement an ATAC system. It'd be good if they could. Yeah. Also, uh, rangefinders are also just great anyway, even if they're yeah. handheld, like binocular sort of thing. Because I'd love to know ranging, because if I'm going to do any sniping in the game, you got to have I'm, some sort of uh, measure. I'm going to do dope, uh, dope, uh, dope map, basically. Dope the dope. You're gonna, dope. Do, you're gonna do dope in the jungle. It's it's an acronym for like when you do Guys, ranging and draft him to Vietnam. <laughs> when you do ranging, like oh, it's four hundred meters to that specific point where I actually like it sticks out a little bit, so you know like oh, to that car four hundred meters. You actually know beforehand, so you make like uh, a small um, uh, picture, like you just. To the car, to the red car in the in the road that stands there, it's four hundred meters. To three line, it's six hundred. To that house there, to the church, it's like three hundred. Like that's a dope note, basically. And range finding would be very hand f uh, good for that. For sure. Um, the aim is the build. It is to build a ultimate game and put everything that they can do. Build the ultimate game that everyone has wanted forever. Yes, and that's exactly the way I felt 
once I joined the Discord, started asking questions way back in January. Um, and I was two months oh, late at that point. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, weapons, I, plan I, 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 oh, I misspoke. I misspoke on the dope. It's not the dope one. That's the that on previous engagement. I meant the other thing. I can't remember that thing, but I would still do the dope thing as well. Okay. Weapons planned for future around 50 with all attachments. Bosses will have special guns. Okay, we confirm that. Like it? Uh, trading black market, flea market. There is no plan. It will not happen. What? Nope. There was. There's no plan on like um, uh, a flea market. Like you know, you can sell oh, your yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, I remember now. Uh, he stated he it becomes. Uh, they start playing the game just for the money or something like that, yes, which I but he did understand. He he did say they were gonna be trading between players. That's go that's gonna be a trade window basically. So you yeah. can't trade with players. They want the world to be active and changing LZs and camps changing. Every time you join the game, the map might be different due to what players do. Yeah. Dragging Sounds people awesome. is coming later, okay? PvE events will come later, okay? PvE and PvP is shared progression. Yep. If unless there unless there is abuse and there's going to be abuse. <laughs> yeah, there's there's abuse. If <laughs> I don't know why that was put in there. If you camp the mosquitoes audio will be much louder, so it's annoying if you camp. Yep. Okay. Bodies will be will go rotten in the world over time. Uh, can the world even handle that? Uh, like the bodies staying for a long time. Um, okay. I think that may be for the future, like long yeah. uh, uh, further down the line. That's there, cool. There is a lot of stuff that's hidden in the map. Okay. 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 So this was my question, actually. I uh, answered. I asked him if there would be POIs that are hidden that you can't see in the map that isn't oh, marked. That is, even if you find them, they will not be marked on the map. So let's say you go to Fort Nareth and you don't know there is something there. You obviously see it on the map, but let's say it's covered by trees and stuff, and you go there, you're like. Oh, you find a PUI, the, or you find you found uh, a new like area uh, that's like hidden, hidden. Uh, so it doesn't show up on the map even if you discovered it. That's what I asked. And that's I got confirmation for that. So that's nice. Yeah, for sure. Diseases and infections are planning. Okay. Or in planning. <laughs> Yeah, it says R, though. I'm just yeah. reading it as it is, <laughs> as is, man. Upgrades between versions, yes. Asking for people to spend as much as you can, as the servers are very, very expensive, yes. EA prices above early act. Yeah, okay. Full release will be more, yes. Monday, next week, they will have release, yes. Okay, so that's the end of that. Anything y'all yeah. want to add before we move on to what is the, brewing? The, the Porter Edition is only for early access. It's not uh, oh, yes. when the game uh, game goes live, um, and the servers are very expensive. So with how it looked like on the streams and stuff, it they were quite responsive if you compare it to other games that uh, released. Cause sure the shots didn't hit sometimes, but sometimes they hit immediately after you press the trigger and in the headshot at like hundred meters away. So I hope to have a uh, high updates. Uh, high tick rate servers and it sounds like they have and it looks like it so i'm super happy with that i did ask the question what's the tick rate on the service didn't get the answer i'm gonna uh message foxic though uh, or, or rick and try and see if we can actually get an answer yeah one can hope that's for sure yeah next topic next topic. <laughs> <laughs> i know that's what you've been waiting for uh, but sad. No, I'm joking. So, <laughs> Tarkov. That's all is... time. <laughs> all we have time for, folks. No, wrap no, it no, up. Wrap it up. Don't leave. Tarkov issues and how Greyzone has the best position here. So, um, 
th this is crazy. Even Landmark made a comment, which is argue arguably Escape from Tarkov's largest streamer and most known person besides like Pestilion. All because Pestilion's I'm been actually, around for fucking ever, bro. I'm I'm actually gonna check his and see what he says. Um. Yeah, yeah please gonna, do you, real you quick. Mentioned, you mentioned Landmark. Yeah. Uh, one great thing that Landmark did was he was looking uh, live at the BSG website at the EOD edition, having the Wayback Machine up, and refresh the page to see it get changed live. No way. Oh, yeah. 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 That's hilarious, dude. It removed the section about the Gamma case. Yeah. The live. And he did a video with Asman Golan there sitting there and like talking shit about it. What uh what about the gamma case though? How did it what, what so do you mean by that? EUD, right. So, so we've e got to, we've gotta yeah. go through a lot of this. So I, I just want yeah. you mentioned landmark. So from the top, they've announced a new tier of Tarkov supportership, I I believe they would say. Yeah. It's called the Unheard Edition. It's filled with loads of actual pay-to-win items. Like actual, like people are talking in in GCW suggestions. Don't add pay-to-win stuff like lockers. I agree that lockers, if you can't build up to them quickly, it's pay-to-win. But the Unheard Edition has pockets. Uh, your your PMC has pockets that are big enough to fit magazines. Oh yeah. Uh, you get an item. That at uh, level six fence, uh, scavs don't shoot at you over sixty <laughs> meters. Um, you get a bigger locker than um, EOD. You get the gamma case, which we will talk about that in a little bit, and uh, you get access after a high enough level to. An item that I can't remember the name of, but you activate it and it allows everyone on your friends list to join your raid. Yeah. Oh, another thing you missed. Oh, yep. Go ahead. Uh, I noticed uh, skills were increased as well. Uh, no, uh, it's the fifty percent discount on like extractions that cost money. So you yes, have. Yes, that was part of that that one at uh, max uh, level six fence. Uh, yeah. You don't yeah. get shot at. Yeah. A, like fifty percent discount on every fucking paid extraction. It's like what the fuck? Everything that you would pay for in raids so that includes lighthouse. Yeah. Or lighthouse keeper. Um. Insurance uh, equipment. Th oh, thirty percent faster. And exclusive. Uh, hideout. Uh, area. Exclusive Only hideout area. Yet there would be an added area to the hideout that you can only get with this edition that costs two hundred and fifty dollars. And what's the area? Uh, we don't know. Jesus. Uh, it just uh, so, uh, the thing that he said, the uh, unique item distress signal device. When the yep. item is activated, it produces a bright flash as well as a loud, loud sound signal. Once activated, all players on your friends list. Will receive a notification that they can join your raid to help you. That's what it does. Yep. Um. Along with that, uh, PVE Tarkov. Uh, you get access to PVE Tarkov, which allows you to play co-op offline, persistent, no wipes. Now with friends, with yeah, yeah. with yeah, yeah, co-op, co -op. yeah. So that's what you get with um. The Unheard Edition, along with a couple other small items yeah. that are not that important in, in the grand scheme of things. Let's go back to the case. <laughs> and, right, we'll now talk about EOD Edition. EOD Edition was on, when you purchased it, it said that it would be the highest, it would be the, the, the top of the tier, top the, of the line tier. The creme de la creme, okay? The creme de la creme. There would be no tiers higher than EOD ever. That was stated in numerous videos that they are now privating. They are now privating those videos. And in EOD, it says that you will get access to all DL future DLC. Well, that's already not the case because uh, you have... I Actually, no, you don't because uh, you don't play normal Tarkov, do you, uh, Tactical? 
No, I I I used to, yeah. Yeah, uh like operator skins. You didn't get those with the OD. Um you you can you, you'd still have to buy operator like uh, outfits. <laughs> yep. Um and an exclusive an EOD exclusive gamma case. Oh, unique, unique. Yeah, that was the thing. It was a uh, uh, EOD unique. Uh, EOD, that's, it's the same thing though. Yeah, EOD yeah, yeah, unique, but... EOD exclusive. Unique yeah. to EOD. So now they've just come out after making it impossible to buy EOD, saying that the, here is a better, better bundle. Here is one that has more stuff. And also, it has stuff that we said was completely unique to uh, EOD. Also, and the PvE mode, it's not included in EOD. Oh yes, it is now. For six months. Nope. They've rolled that back. That oh was my, what I wanted what? to... What? Yep, uh, Nikita had a hissy fit on Twitter, and uh, they announced for four minutes, they posted a tweet for four minutes that they were rolling back that change. Uh, and then they deleted it after they saw that people were calling them bastards. And just fucking themselves even more. That's that's the the, the hey, shot to the yo. dick I was mentioning. Because uh, so, the shot to the feet were making Unheard Edition, and then making the PVE thing access accessible for six months. So, EOD is not going to have anything new, basically. Uh, yes. Oh, oh no! Since he rolled did, back the shit instead. Did they take <laughs> anything back? That take take anything away from EOD? Yes, well, the, the, the well, yes, DLC, the, the, the very, the very concept of EOD was that it was the no, highest yeah. tier. That was what it was advertised as, and it was to have all the DLCs. But be, besides that, is Unreal. They didn't take uh, anything Unreal. else away. It hasn't taken anything else away. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. They took away the Gamma case because that was a unique only yes. for EODs, and then they gave it to the new edition as well. And so, removed so, that, that sentence from the yeah, EOD yeah. Uh, store page. Uh, That's what I thought you meant by Gamma Case. Uh, I still have the Gamma Case, just for confirmation yeah. there. Yes, no, but now it's no longer, it's no longer and, unique to EOD, which is, yes. again, oh, false. it's false advertising. Oh, and, that's and, uh, what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. the issue is, everyone keeps talking about how Battlestate Games is a Russian company. Have you checked where their company is? No, but someone said it earlier. I said it earlier. It is oh. in London. Yeah. Yep. It is registered and licensed to only exist within London. And the the Russian company is owned by the London company. Anything the Russian company does, which is obviously the main actual BSG, has to go through UK laws. Which is subject to the rest of the world laws, unlike a lot of Russian other Russian companies. Yeah. So that means consumer rights acts acts very harshly here. Yeah. Uh, this is a death blow to uh, Tarkov. I likely see a clash action. A uh, class. There is action. already one coming up. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm gonna I mean. join it. I'm gonna join it yeah. if I can. Yeah. Same. Hundred percent. You get your money back on EOD, but guess what? If it yeah, looks I don't like, play Taco anymore, so I'm fine. <laughs> Grey Zone Warfare is going to be really fun, right? Guess what? I'm going to be playing this. I'm going to go to player auctions, sell my account on EO of EOD, make the money back on Tarkov, <laughs> and class action lawsuit their asses. Yeah, but I don't think I don't I don't think you can sell your account and not give the account back unless you want to scam the other person you sell that account to. Scam the <laughs> scammers, scam. why not? We do a little scamming. So while we're talking on this, uh I, I don't want to touch base on it. I just want to make a statement real quick. So I have talked to somebody who basically stated they worked for Mon uh not Mad Finger Games, fucking uh BSG. BSG. And they highly speculated that BSG was giving out the hacks, the, uh, the information, making hacks themselves to sell to people to make more money. And now you see microtransactions come in. Dude, you have Arena Breakout Infinite and Grey Zone Warfare right now taking the fold of the new extraction shooter. Tarkov just shit itself. Let me tell you, Grey Zone yeah. Warfare is coming out first, hopefully, 
and there's going to be so many people playing this game so many streamers now on just this game and escape from Tar and from tarkov technically can die overnight now night now because of this yeah, game so technically everyone who is saying this is the tarkov killer was correct if this goes through fruition what well, i think will no. happen you, tarkov you was have... the tarkov killer because they're killing yeah. themselves currently well, and then you have yeah, arena... to, this never had to be a tarkov killer you have arena breakout as well because there are a lot of play and that's free to play uh because they're bringing it to pc and it's free to play and yeah that's gonna be huge as well i think uh because it looks looks quite awesome actually i saw a big fights vi video on it as it long looks as they charge very... me 250 dollars only once that's all i'm worried about <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like i think they better uh, be uh battle state games just shat themselves and arena breakout is and uh gray zone uh, warfare is gonna pick up the slack basically and bring in the all new players uh and with a class action lawsuit with them bsg potentially having money problems it's gonna be even worse like this might actually kill bsg and that in its sense might kill tarkov so just to state this real quick a while back i would say 2019 you were still able to uh change emails on your main account uh for on your account for uh tarkov right and my buddy was away the same buddy that was supposed to join today but uh couldn't make it he gave me his account so i can uh yeah i i frauded in that game no doubt i used to have the m1a uh double on wipes <laughs> from his account i could not give his account back whenever he came back from war basically because he was in the army and all and i always wondered why they decided to do that i know why now because player auctions exists and they made less money if you were able to sell your account uh thing is you can't change emails anymore who buys the game off of a scrub email i didn't i use my main email so i would technically have to give this person my main Wait, okay. email account you can't change your you uh... cannot change the email bsg took it upon themselves to make that not happen anymore somewhere's around 2020 i would say 2019 2020 uh time frame yeah so i know they were That's... getting into money troubles there i always speculated it i was like man what what in the world is going on and not even to mention player auctions i know for a fact people from bsg was selling items on player auctions and making bankroll off of that okay so i can't sell my ud then then i will have to just class action lawsuits and get my money you, back then, you could I guess. you could sell your eod you just would have to sell your that's main my email main, account as yeah. well that's yeah. that's my main email that's a yeah see what i'm saying they they fucked everybody on purpose knowing that they would make more money on it and then now they bring out microtransactions and not only that they bring out more shit after getting e rid of eod it it just what you know the fact that the microtransaction really? stuff wasn't included in eod was already a breach of the contract of what it was which was yeah, they all did future say they dlc wouldn't. will yeah. be included in eod for yeah. them getting rid did. of eod makes me feel that th yeah. that was a breach of contract uh, uh and oh no 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 th that was always meant to be a limited time deal eod <sighs> was always they just kept extending it I, so it was meant to go away at one point. I am speculating right now that perhaps that EOD is now gone. You might not even be able to go forward with a class act. A class. God damn! Why is that word so hard? Class action lawsuit. Just for speculation, because it doesn't exist anymore. You know, I I'm not no, no, no lawyer. No, you, you know, I don't know. Don't when, worry. You know, it's ten years. Yeah. 10 years? It's 10 years. Okay. Well, we'll For hopefully a service see what happens. Is, like, there's currently, a, there's currently a class action lawsuit against Ubisoft for shutting down the crew servers. The crew came oh. out in... Uh, I'm just going to fact check this real quick. Uh, the crew, the first one. Uh, the crew came out 10 years ago. Yeah. 
came out in 2014. And because of how um, live service games works, um, the reason why I meant brought up France as well earlier and Australia, they have very strong consumer rights. Uh, so they are having um, a lot of uh, a lot of people reach out and say, "We don't want this shut down, or we want a refund." At wow. le- like either make like there, it's pretty much an ultimatum. Yeah, make it so we can host our own servers. Or give us a refund. Yeah. And I, I, I just saw this. Purchases are locked to specific regions on escapefromtarkov.com. Uh, ge- ge- geographic region uh, the purchase was made from. This wasn't here in the beginning, like at the launch mm-hmm. of the game. The game only yep. uh, can only be launched from you if your current region is the same where the purchase was made. The only exception is Europe, so guys in Europe can actually sell their accounts if they don't have it on the main account, uh, main a- email. Hmm. Purchases made in this region will be available to launch anywhere around the world. Your current region is Europe. So, I could play from anywhere in the world, no problem. Uh, you guys are... Uh, yeah, I guess Contractor can, uh, can do it as well. But... Tactical yep. is a bit fucked there. Yeah, no, America um, has kind of bad laws regarding software because there's some serious yeah. law in it. Yeah, so I guess if you had your Tarkov on a off e- off off email that you don't use just for games, but, uh, just for Tarkov, that might be good. Um, yeah, I hope Europe guys can join the class action lawsuit, actually, because I want my money back. Yeah, yeah, I I can't believe that happened with Tarkov. I so the the own their only way out of this is actually like okay, everything you get from Unheard of Edition you get in fucking EUD EOD. as well. And then it makes yeah, it completely have to. useless. Yeah, basically it's basically unheard no no it doesn't it's not completely useless but, because Unheard of is basically the new EUD and they can charge more for it basically. But that's the only way I see out, like, yeah. I mean, it would just piss people off that they paid money for fucking nothing, pretty much. Yeah. Is what it is. Whatever. Um, does anybody want to add anything else? That is a no, I guess. Um, so yeah. just to recap, Grey Zone Warfare is in a very unique position, but they have competition coming up ahead with uh, shit. What was that game? Fuck. Uh, Arena breaking in breakout. Uh, breakout. Infinite? Yeah. Uh, because Tarkov took a shit, I feel Grey Zone Warfare can. Oh man. Uh, be in a good and very bad situation at the same time because. If they did not take into account that they're going to need a lot more servers if fucking Tarkov really shit its player base, because my main thing is follow the streamers. What are the streamers streaming? And that's what their viewers want to be playing, usually. Basically, you know what I mean? Well, uh, how often do you go off and watch a stream that's a game you don't want to play, ever? You know what I mean? That's basically the sense that I'm getting at. So. We also just had a 250 player roughly play test on Grey Zone Warfare this past week or week and a half, so something like that, um, where a bunch of content creators were streaming or streamers, however you want to call them, and all those viewers grew the Discord tremendously um, and the wa- uh, wish list for Steam. This. Honestly, if Tarkov takes the shit, I could say double. Easily double. And this is, has actually plans for mod servers and stuff like like modded servers that you yourself can mod however you want. That's just a huge thing with it as well. Because Tarkov don't, doesn't allow that, but this game will. So you can make your own game basically inside of this. Um, yeah. It's... 
it's gonna be quite crazy i honestly cannot wait to uh see what happens and be able to cover it but uh that's pretty much all uh, all we're gonna be covering here today guys uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out the channel every now and then peace